I'm not lying. When I pulled in here, he's got the biggest grin on my face. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, guys. Yeah, there's one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So yeah. I'm out here with the homie Mike. We're on a little bit of a road trip. Uh, we're going to be doing some camping tonight. But our first stop here is the Bigfoot Museum. Here we're at go. the Bigfoot Crossroads of American Museum in Hastings, Nebraska. We're going to hop out and head in and see what this is all about. Stay tuned, y'all. This should be a good video. Okay, so I has got castings. Bigfoot hand cast. They got some foot castings out here. Do they? Right hand, thumb, and knuckles. Dude, this is awesome. Is it? Nope. Bigfoot burial mounds. I believe that's the lady that runs the place over there. Look at the skulls. This is cool. From Peru. Elongated skulls. Oh, this is cool, man. This is awesome, y'all. Bunch of information and pictures and stuff. Looks like they go on on adventures to try to find it. And she gets out there. And she's really into the Bigfoot. Look at her hitting the bottle. Bigfoot here. Look at the size of that casting. Yeah. Yeah, look at that foot. 17.2 inches long. Seven inches wide. Seven, yeah. Oh God, I remember that video. Oh yeah. Everybody has seen one. that video, mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of squatchy. Damn, Sam Squatch. I think it's through that door. Maybe he's at the bathroom. Nope, that's it. Oh, no, yeah, back this way. Want to take a shot? No, I'm good. Can <laughs> we sleep on here? <laughs> and um, he said, well, I heard that. And he says, okay. He said, but I have one thing yeah, to It's supposed to be like a mammoth tooth. That. And he said, um, Wooly mammoth? Um, that story that you've written, it's not accurate. And I thought, okay. Well, you do have a gift shop. I have, I have one like that, yeah. Gone squatching. That's not bad. This looks like horse stuff. Beaver pelt. I don't know what this is about. Got some aliens. So I guess there's another Nebraska Bigfoot sightings. We had, we had one from Dennis down in Florence. Watch out, Caster. Caves along the river bluffs. There's some in Saunders too. And Lincoln, yeah, Saunders County. 25 miles west of Fremont between Morse Bluff and Linwood, investigated by Harry McFeely. Bigfoot activity. I've heard that. The Mothman. I've heard that up by, like, up near Ponca State Park is 
an area, even in the park they have like little Bigfoot statues set up and you're supposed to go on the trails and find them. Uh, all right guys, there's a little, there's another building outside that we're gonna go check out. You got Bigfoot tracks, man, she is serious. I got feet as big as Bigfoot. About my size, a bit wider. It looks like, yeah, there's like a walking garden and all sorts of stuff back there. Oh, wow. So, Stan, he did see Bigfoot. Yeah, I believe that. But his Bigfoot he saw, I think, was the hopes that he didn't know about. Well, perhaps, oh, yeah, Good. no question. It was oh, a crazy wow. night. Oh, that's the flag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. oh okay. Bigfoot's yeah. Wow. Uh, now, I want to show you guys something. The picture that lady sent me, this mm -hmm. was it right there. Now, right. is There's that not great? Right. Oh, they ripped up? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, here's what I want to show you. Yeah. Where's it? Down yeah. here. Oh, okay. front and center. You guys yeah. come here? Yeah, come listen. Oh, try and get out of your way. <laughs> you see this little string here? Yeah, it runs through. Guess That's what? It's braided. It's braided yeah. too. Yeah, you can see this that. one right here. See that? Yeah. Wind it's braided. Doesn't, wind doesn't do that. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does. Does it really? Sheriff, well, well, Sheriff said so. Huh. Um, oh, Sheriff <laughs> said so. That's so, right. <laughs> Sheriff said so. So then it's knotted here, <laughs> and it's braided down here. Yeah. And remember, I showed you the loops over right. there. Yeah. Look, there's the loops. Yeah. Right there. With the horse, the uh, horse's then, uh, tails. Then you go. This one is braided. Mm -hmm. So is this one. See that really, 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 really skinny one there? Yeah. If you look close, that far from the bottom, can you see there's a little dinky knot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's braided. Okay, so yeah. then this is braided, that's braided, there's a knot. They could not get it out. Those are braided. That knot there is like cement. They could not get it untied, period. Mm -hmm. And so... As I said, I, we walked around it probably 40 times. And these are all the people that yeah, Jim told the uh, story. Yeah, Jim has and stuff. a little blue bar. Um, the next one is his wife. Margo's the lady that told mm -hmm. me the story. EJ put the flag up. And Jenna, she's Jim's daughter. She's yeah. the one that found it. Mm -hmm. That's a, so, anyway. A whole new one for me. Well, you know what? The story is <laughs> oh, not yeah. over. Hold on. So, listen to this. Last year, about a week after Memorial Day, Jim calls me up and he goes, Hey, Harry, guess yeah. what? I go, Oh, what? He said, I got the flag. This is awesome. He said, You are kidding me. He said, Nope. So, I'm heading back yeah. to Garrison again. And right across the street from him, there's three green. Those big bins, right. but they're made of like aluminum or something. I don't know what they are. 100 feet tall. And so the day after Memorial Day, the guy that's the manager goes walking out and he's oh, yeah. So we're here with the, the owner of the museum, and uh, we told her where we're going to be camping at tonight. And so she's got a story to tell us about the campground where we're going to be staying. That's right. Um, people always tell me weird stories. That's how I get these. So, um, not too far from there is the main highway, and um, anyway, these people, a couple guys were down there, and I don't know if they were hunting, it was in the daytime, I know that, and, um, but they stayed and it was getting dark, and they saw a UFO, mm. and um, it was just kind of hovering, sort of like this, and so then it just kind of sort of floated off, and it was going toward Crystal Lake, which is only... I think two miles off that highway, it's real close. Mm -hmm. And so it went over there, and so they said, well, let's go follow, we'll drive over there, see what's going on. So they went over, and Crystal Lake is kind of, it's kind of a horseshoe yeah. shape. It's sort of like this, it's bigger, and then it gets narrow, and there's a dock here, and then it's kind of a circle here. And so they drove in from this way, and they were, you know, looking, and right there before you come to the narrow spot, that whatever it was just sunk right in the water. No kidding. And he said it looked like a propeller, kind of, but when they saw it, they never saw a propeller. It had lights kind of around it. 
And so they were standing there and they were looking. And he said it looked like a propeller and it was going like this. And so the water was going around and around like that. And all of a sudden, it just quit. And they were, that was it. And they never saw it again. Huh. Ever. And so then, a couple days later, there were some people there. And I don't even know if they knew that story, but they were kind of around where the dock is. And they just happened to look up where the bigger end of the lake is. And there was a Bigfoot, and he was walking right down, like, toward the lake. And he was looking where that, whatever it was, went down. And he was just kind of looking around. And then he just turned around and walked huh. back up the road there. That's wild. Yeah. Well. So... Let's hope we don't run into any of those tonight. It would be interesting to see, but I don't know if I want to fight yeah, Hugfoot. Awesome, fight. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate, no. it. I appreciate it. Yeah, and you know what? When you get a chance, go back and look on that map, and there's a lot of sites around. Yeah, I saw the map in there. Yeah, um, and each one of those sites has a story. Mm -hmm. Everyone. That's mm -hmm. okay. Everyone. All right, guys. So we just left the museum. It was awesome to see that uh, and hear her stories. We we're going to head out down to the road. Uh, find ourselves a grocery store and then head on to the campsite. So stay tuned y'all. All right, y'all, so we've got a spot. As you can see, there is a shelter behind us here, but there is a fire pit. So uh, at this lake, way over off yonder that direction, there's an actual campground. Uh, but given our location, I don't think we're gonna get hassled. So we still paid the campground fee. So we're gonna, we're gonna set up here and if we get hassled, I guess we'll move. But Mike's got his pop-up ice fishing shelter that he's gonna camp inside of. Uh, and he can set it up right inside of there and it's not really windy. I mean, you could put it right here too, but he's got a concrete floor in there. Yeah. I'm going in there. Yeah. I'm going in there, buddy. Um, and there's a light in there with the light switch and everything. So we're going to get his stuff set up and probably get a fire going pretty soon. I think it's after four o'clock already. I don't know. Or close to it. So we've got a few hours of light left. We picked up some dinner for this evening, although the grill on there looks sketchy we'll figure it out so Oh, he's all set up. Got the cot, got the heater. I guess yeah. I can put my table up. Yeah. The bummer about this building and a lot of these old buildings, I guess, I don't know about other states, but here in Nebraska, back in the day, these all had fireplaces in them and both sides of this building did. Uh, so there would have been a big fireplace right here. And you can see the circle right there is where they filled in the wall. And that looks like, it looks like it says 1938. Might be 1988, but it could be 38. I wouldn't, I don't know. These buildings are pretty old. I mean, 
I don't think Nebraska is going to build anything out of stone uh, anymore. But there's one, one light bulb in here. And you've got a switch right here to turn that light on and off. All right, well, I think it's time to crack open a beer. We don't really need to get the fire going quite yet. Sun's still, still up there. I did clean the fire pit out. Yeah, it's beer 30. Well, cheers to Mike. Um, this is the first time we've gone camping that hasn't been ice fishing. Right. Or other, otherwise at your spot. Right. It's the first time I've gotten him away for just a regular camping trip. <laughs> and and it's not so regular, it turns out, <laughs> but... This kind of a stealth camp. Yeah, this is kind of legit. It's kind of a Steve Wallace look. A big homage to Steve Wallace. He's, I think he's done something exactly like this. So, yeah. Before Steve Wallace, step two. Yeah. Step two. Yeah. Cheers to Steve. You're too hardcore. Steve. You're my... You're my crazy neighbor. I'm your crazy neighbor. Yep. Oh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Well, y'all, we walked over to the lake. So the bummer part of this spot is none of the camping spots, you can't see the lake at all. Cause there's like this big berm that goes around the whole side of it. I'm parked right behind this, you know, maybe 50 yards over that way. But it's nice, they've got all these little fishing piers and one, a big one over there. They got a big one over there. The, the lake looks nice. I'd like to kayak fish it. I don't think there's a boat ramp anywhere. I don't remember seeing one, but I mean, my boat would also be perfect in this, in this lake. Still one lonely chunk of ice. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, I had thought about bringing a fishing pole because I wasn't sure if it would be open. I figured it'd still be at least half frozen, but I have no idea how deep it is, but it's a, uh, it's a cool little lake. And there's a, uh, historical marker over on the other side. We'll have to go check that out. Maybe we'll check that out in the morning. Um, but it's it's also funny that it's called what a charity Crystal, Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake. It's Crystal Lake, like the Jason movies. Oh, we're gonna have some encounters tonight. So either Jason's coming, or according to the lady at the museum, <laughs> it's going to be Bigfoot or aliens. But we shall see. I'll take any, any one of those three, I'll take. Yeah. Well, I don't want the Jason part. Yeah, right. Jason's not the most fun, although I don't know if I want to get probed either. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, you know. Big enough beer, it's all fun, right? <laughs> really. I need to start bringing, just put the little uh, torch thing that you can stick on our little one pound bottles. Oh yeah. Because I always have one with me for my stove. And that that's a good backup, you know what I mean? For sure. So you wouldn't need to fire starter then. No, you could get that. I mean, you could have probably got that going with the stuff in there, but. Tossing some of this up here. All right. We're gonna toss these mushrooms on some tin foil. We have uh, stuffed mushrooms, wild rice, and sausage stuffed mushrooms. And right here we have Italian sausage Ooh. stuffed mushrooms. And in our bag here, we have ourselves some burgers. We've got 
bacon cheddar burgers. We've got four patties and we are definitely gonna make all of this food right now. Absolutely. Uh, and we also have a big old pack of some real Wait, what? Bacon. Oh, and bacon, bacon makes everything better. Thick slice. So we're gonna we're gonna toss this and the burgers on the grill, and we are gonna get after this. <laughs> Slap this. We gotta go at an angle of the dangle or we're gonna lose it. Get this cooking up. Bacon makes everything better. We'll give this a second and then we'll throw the burgers on. Ooh, smoke right in my face. Perfect. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's the good stuff. I probably didn't do this right. I mean, is there, is there a wrong way to do it? No. <laughs> Look, right. at oh, Look at that. Oh, that's dangles. the wrong way. <laughs> that's the wrong way. Okay, I guess there is a wrong way to do it. That's that's really warm. <laughs> but we're fixing it. Yeah, we added a log because it just wasn't hot enough. We'll Good just idea. Pull that off for now. Okay, you don't like the foil. We'll, we'll put it back on there for the shrooms because we don't want to lose our shrooms. But We definitely don't want to lose those shrooms. Let's get these these guys going. You know, last time we camped, we had mushrooms like that. You remember that? Mm-hmm. And they were so good. Yes. Yes. Now we're talking. Oof. Smoke will get you. Give me that foil right here. She's toast, dude. <laughs> Along with this one. I think it's that this one, one. here. Oh, yep, that yep, one. yep, you got it. Yeah, that one's That's fun. fine. That's fine. We got plenty, dude. More than we need. Oh, there's one more in here. And we got our flame back. We're good. He's stopping. First train. Yeah, I think it's stopping. He's stopping right here. He wants a burger. He, he knows about the mushrooms. Come get a burger, buddy. And there's the moon, y'all. He's going really slow. I don't think there's anything on the back of him. No. That might have been the one we heard earlier. That's awesome. That's cool. I don't That's think cool. he was supposed to honk right there, but <laughs> no. he did it anyways. Nope, but he saw us sit here. Through. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, the food's going, y'all. We're getting it. Yeah, I put the heat on that side, hoping that they'll cook first. Two burgers for cheese. Boom. Boom. To put a foil tent. Ooh, and they're going. They're looking great. Something in the trees over here, dude. Listen, can you hear that? There's something walking over there. Might be a squatch. Oh, there it is. Could be a coyote. 
Could be a scratch. There's something moving. Over there. There's a light. What is that? Sasquatch is by flashlights. Oh. Shop and tractor supply like us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that is legit. Dude, that is beyond legit. Nice bacon burger. We do have some ketchup and condiments if we'd like to put that on there, but I think I'm just going to go in this one raw. There's a ketchup right there if you want it. So I'm going right after it. Definitely not as good as the the high V burgers, but still very good. This cooler. So I can pop a spot and not be killing the smoke. Well, I think no matter where I move. That smoke is just going to fall. You're going to get some. Yeah. Oof. Mm. You can definitely tell they're like processed burgers. Yeah. We got a lot of food here. Hey, if any of you guys want to come join us, come on over. We won't tell Squatch Man. Nope. It's our secret. No, I feel like there's someone over there watching us. You just get that feeling, you know? There might be. You ever get might, that feeling? You might be hiding in the trees. You? I try and get that feeling. I mean, there is a farm not too that far that way. The farmer might be like, what are these boys <laughs> doing over here? Uh, <laughs> hey, boys. Mushrooms are good. Are they hot? Mm-hmm. You take it and flip it off. Hey, when you drop me off, fill that back up with more wood. Peace, peace, just peace. All right, hour five of our Bigfoot hunt, and we found a couple of geese. I don't know, geese do it. They're right over us. kind of jealous of Mike's spot in there well y'all settled into the rig a bit uh, heater is blasting because it's cold outside I guess I have had the tailgate open but it's it says it's 50 degrees in here right now as you can tell I didn't bring my pajamas back I think they're in the cab somewhere so I've just got thermal pants on but uh, we'll be all right it's currently 21 degrees and it feels like it's 10 degrees out there the low tonight is 21 so we've already hit the low uh, and it's comfortable in here 
I think we're both going to be completely fine tonight. I didn't bring my tablet with me because uh, I didn't expect to be hanging out much inside tonight and it's late already. It's 11.40. It's almost midnight. So I'm going to fiddle around on my phone a little bit. Uh, at least what I can with one bar of service. I don't have much out here and uh, I'm going to get headed to bed and then we'll get up in the morning. We'll check out a little bit more of this park and uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's nice and warm. The sun is bright. It's not hot. Well, sun's up. We're awake. Mike had a rough night last night. It's pretty rough. There's coyotes or something going after it. Yeah, like, at first I heard it was an owl. You know, hooting. And then I heard a bunch of yotes. I tell you, yotes and an owl fighting or something? I oh, I didn't hear any of that. I was knocked out. We I made it. my head up. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be coming through your tent. No, no, I wouldn't worry about that. All right, I'm going to get some water going. We'll get some coffee in us. And we're probably going to jam out of here. Go find some Taco Bell for breakfast or something. Yeah. Alright y'all, so we just left our camp spot, which is way over yonder. So this is technically the campground over here, which we didn't really show you yesterday. There are electric sites over here, just some regular tent spots. You've got basketball court, tennis court, there's some horseshoe pits over there, which is kind of nice. And you've got a Nebraska State historical marker here. So obviously we are at Crystal Lake. Yeah, we didn't see Jason last night, but oh, I think I heard so. I heard him on my head. He might have heard him, yeah. But we'll read this to you. So, Crystal Lake, it says, in 1893, the Crystal Ice Company dammed a portion of the Little Blue River one and a quarter miles north of Ayer, which is a town we're outside of. 
uh, creating Crystal Lake. And it was made for harvesting and selling ice. A huge storage and loading facility was built on the nearby Republican Valley branch of the Burlington Railroad and horse-drawn scoring knives, wait, horse-drawn scoring knives and long back-breaking ice saws later replaced by power saws cut the 16-inch thick ice into nine foot two squares, which they were floated down a channel to be cut into 25, 22 inch by 22 inch cakes. 10,000 tons per season was the capacity. A large ice house was filled for the Hastings trade and hundreds of carloads were sold to the railroad. This winter ice harvest provided a 30 day income for as many as 50 workers. Uh, in the 1920s, mechanical refrigeration ended the ice business. It was we right there. Yeah, we were looking that up last night. And Crystal Lake became a private recreation area for picnics, dancing and swimming, boating, fishing and skating. Uh, in 1937, the 63 acre site was purchased by the state and improved by the WPA. Silt eventually filled the lake and in 1976, a $180,000 renovation of the lake and park was a project of the Ayer Bicentennial Committee. Crystal Lake State Recreation Area is part of the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission system. Uh, but maybe that has also changed since the sign was put up because uh, to pay for a campsite, you paid the city of Ayer. You did not pay. Uh, the state of Nebraska so I don't know but it's cool this is the second lake now that I know of in Nebraska that is was basically put there and made so they could harvest ice in the winter yeah and that's why the train tracks ran along the edge of the lake where the train went by which I guess I didn't tell you guys last night that train went back by and I didn't have the camera going but I flashed the light at him and he gave us the beep 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 uh, so he knew what we were doing standing there, but, uh, yeah, we had a blast last night. It was awesome we, to get Mike out. We definitely had a blast. Yeah. That was awesome. It was something different. First time we've camped together that's not been on the ice or at his private camping area. So, uh, we're going to go find ourselves some breakfast, but I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here and, uh, we got to get back on the road. Couple hour drive home today. So anyways, stay tuned for the next adventure y'all. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Peace.